right, here we go with our half angle formulas. We've got double angle, half angle, power reducing, some product difference, oh, all kinds of stuff. So these are the half angle formulas. Okay, half angle formulas. The sine of alpha over 2. Now we're going to use alpha instead of theta so that we can distinguish between a whole angle and a half angle. So sine of alpha over 2 is going to be plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine alpha over 2. The cosine of alpha over 2 is going to be plus or minus 1 plus cosine alpha over 2. And the tangent of alpha over 2 is going to be plus or minus 1 minus cosine alpha over 1 plus cosine alpha. Those are what you need to memorize. Now let's talk about that plus or minus that's outside of the square root. It's not the same thing as the square root having two roots, a positive and a negative. The, to determine whether the value will be positive or negative, you need to determine which quadrant the half angle lies. So if your half angle lies in the first quadrant, then everything will be positive. If your half angle lies in the second quadrant, um, only the sine will be positive. So let's, let's try this. Find the exact value of cosine of 112.5 degrees. Okay, 112.5 degrees is 225 divided by 2. We can use a half angle formula for cosine pi over 2, or see, cosine alpha over 2 with alpha equals 225. Now, here's where the plus or minus comes in. Take a look at the half angle. The half angle is 112.5 degrees. That is in the second quadrant. And cosine is negative in the second quadrant, so we're going to use the negative root for this. So cosine 225 over 2 is going to be negative, because cosine is negative in the second quadrant, 1 plus cosine 225 over 2. Now, which is negative 1 plus cosine 225 is negative square root of 2 over 2. And then we divide that by 2. So we have negative 2 minus the square root of 2 over 2 for our numerator and 2 for our denominator. Once again, if you can't get this, you need to work it out slowly so that you get the arithmetic of it. And that's going to be 2 minus the square root of 2 over 4. We take the square root of that, the numerator stays with the, the square root sign, and so we're going to have minus square root of square root of 2 minus square root of 2. Yes, you have a square root of a square root, but then we take the square root of 4, you get 2. So there is your answer right there. Not easy, but follow your arithmetic and your algebra rules through to the end. So now you can do checkpoint number 5. All right, we want to verify that the tangent of theta is 1 minus cosine 2 theta over sine 2 theta. Okay, so I'm going to change this to 1 minus, and cosine 2 theta is 1 minus 2 sine squared theta, over 2 sine theta cosine theta. So I change my cosine 2 theta to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta, and I change my sine 2 theta to 2 sine theta cosine theta. You can see I've done that in green for you. Okay, so this means when I distribute my negative sign, I have 1 minus 1, which is 0, and then my minus minus 2 sine squared x becomes positive 2 sine squared x, and my denominator is 2 sine x cosine x. So we have some things that are going to cancel. The 2's cancel, the sine squared and the sine cancels, so we wind up with sine alpha, uh, sine, sorry, sine theta over cosine theta, which is tangent theta. Now go do your checkpoint number 6. Okay, half angle formulas for tangent. Tangent of alpha over 2 is 1 minus cosine alpha over sine alpha. Tangent of alpha over 2 is also sine alpha over 1 plus cosine alpha. 
And the, the reason we have more than one is, you know, sometimes you need to change tangent to something different. And you have to, you know, it's sometimes it's a guess and bagosh type of thing where you're not really sure what you need to do. You need to start someplace and, you know, dive in with something. And if it doesn't work, try something else. So here's your next two formulas to memorize. If I want to verify tangent of alpha over 2 is cosecant alpha minus cotangent alpha. I'm going to work with the right-hand side. And I'm going to change these. One of our uh, strategies from 6.1 was to change everything to sine and cosine. So this would be 1 over sine alpha minus cosine alpha over sine alpha, which is we have a common denominator of sine alpha, so it's 1 minus cosine alpha over sine alpha. And that's tangent of alpha over 2, which, by the way, I, I put the um, checkpoint up there a little early, but see how that matches up to that. So now you have checkpoint number 7. Go forth and do math. Good job, folks.